Welcome to Tank Radio, and today we're talking about antennas. I'm going to be coming to you from my roof, uh, down by my smoker, and my deck is down there, and my car. So stay tuned. So play that awesome intro video. Ah! No, no, I, yeah, yes, yeah, I, yes, I know, but c come on, man, it's only been like three videos. I need a little bit more time to get that video up. It's coming, I promise, it's coming. What's going on, y'all? We're starting up here on my roof. This is my temporary antenna setup. I'm using the SIG mag mount I'm going to be uh, showing you later in the episode about on my car, but this mag mount antenna works perfectly on a roof, especially with a big metal chimney cap so the the cap for me is working as a good ground plane and i have the mag mount antenna to for two meter 440 and it's connected to a radio i have down on the deck we're going to be showing that in a bit but um this is perfect the perfect little temporary setup i got the wire down and let's jump to the deck welcome to my deck Next, we are going to be using a mobile radio. This is my temporary radio setup. I set up for the nets around the area uh, when I'm home. I'm using a TYT 9800. I'm reading it off the label here just to make sure I get it right. And it is a quad band, a two meter, 440, a six meter, and I think a 10 or 11. Someone's gonna correct me later down in the comments. This is a AM and FM only radio, so it doesn't do any sideband. Bummer. This would have been a great, great radio if it had sideband. I'm also using my Elinko, um, what's the model number? DM330FX for a power supply. So let's go ahead and uh, key it up. This is KG5AHJ. I'm using the antenna that we just looked at on the roof, the MagMelt antenna. Hey Frank, how are you? KD5HLI. I'm doing good. I am shooting a YouTube video with my temporary radio set up on my deck outside. Um, how are you doing today? Oh, we're doing fine. We just headed to a baseball game, final baseball game of the season. So it's beautiful weather, 55 outside, couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. I agree, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, I'm going to say 7-3 uh, real fast here, let me get back to the video and I will come back uh, to you here in a second. This is KG5AHJ. Well, bad, KG5HLI. Look at the no, <laughs> I'm going to turn that down. Um, but this is a great setup um, for a temporary antenna until I get my uh, main antenna uh, hooked up. And I will probably be shooting a video once that does uh, come around. So next, we're going to head to the smoker. Yes, Mr. Bond. We are at my smokehouse. Or my smoker. This is where I uh, smoke all my meats. You might see the pictures in the Discord chat. The description to the chat or the link to the chat is below. Go ahead and uh, hit me up there and give me all your ideas. Help me with ideas for new videos. Um, but anyways, I'm coming to you here though. I'm going to show you a radio antenna I used for the longest time when I lived in an apartment. I don't know the antenna name, but I'm going to um, link to it below if I can find it and put it up on the screen right here if I do find it. But uh, this is a folding 2 meter 440 J pole antenna. Um, I used it for the longest time because uh, it's, it's a, just a thin wire antenna that I put a uh, paper clip or a paper, you know, one of those binding clips onto the end of it and you can hook it up to the um, ease and just have it uh, next to a pole so that um, it's not too obvious that you have an antenna. Um, I've used it for years and I loved it. So let's go ahead and uh, use it real fast and see if that, uh, see who's there. 
This is KG5AHJ. Uh, how's it going? Where, Frank? How are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a long time. Hey, your audio is up higher than it usually is, so you're sounding good. Thank you, Steve. I am using a um, folding or rolling antenna down by my um, smoker. I'm um, just demonstrating it for a, a YouTube video that I'm shooting right now. I'm glad that I'm coming louder and clearer usually uh, that I use a like, rubber duck when I am sitting on the deck here. But I'm going to probably start using this again. It was uh, for the longest time um, in a backpack for uh, hiking, but I finally decided to take it out for the video. My bone to oh, drink. Very good. Very good. And, and what did you say it was? It is a wire 2 meter 440 folding uh, J pole antenna. Oh, okay. Is it, is it one of the ones uh, that are made out of ladder line? The 450 ladder line? Yes, sir, it is. Um, I bought it from Jason a years ago, but um, I don't know who made it. But yes, it's made out of the ladder line. Okay, very good. Those can actually work, uh, work quite well. So, um, well, good. It's just make a nice uh, portable antenna for you. Yeah, um, I've used it uh, a couple times when I was on hiking trips before I knew about the um, words or the before the creation of soda and poda. Um, I uh, brought it up to a couple of peaks a number of times and I put it up in a tree and I tried to make some contacts but I, I never did make one. Everybody was probably listening to you trying to make contacts, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Well, I'm going to say a 7-3 and get back to it here. I got another two or three segments to still shoot, so it's going to be a busy day for me. Sounds good, Frank. Yeah, send us a link when you get it all done. Um, this is KG5AHJ, and I'll be clear. Uh, have a good day. So there you go. Better signal than a rubber duck. So um, that that is a great antenna. If you can find one or make one, there's plans online for it. Um, hmm. Maybe that should be a build video. We'll see. So um, next, we are going to go to the car. Welcome to my car. I'm going to show you that you don't need a fancy radio to have in your car for your first radio in the car. Even you, once, even if you get your ticket, you don't need a good fancy setup. What I have is the UV82 along with three additional accessories. The first is that mag mount antenna I have on top of my roof. Now it's on top of this roof. Then I have a power, um, auxiliary power for it, so it's pulling battery or power off my car. Um, there's one thing to note about that I'll talk about in a minute. And the third is a little hand mic. Keep you more hands free. So what the thing to know about the um, auxiliary power charger, on my Honda Civic, which I'm in right now, um, when I turn off the car, the power to the auxiliary port is turned off. Unlike the um, CRV, the CRV's power stayed on. So I had to keep remembering to unplug or turn off the radio every time I got out of the car or I drained the battery, which happened more than I like to admit. So that's the one thing to know. Let's give it a try. This is KG5AHJ. Can I get a radio check, please? Hey man, you got a lot of noise on you. 85 h one uh, Thank you very much. I'm kind of in a low spot here, so um, that could be it. Yeah, it was a little bit better that time, but it was still, uh, still a little noisy, so 85 
KAG5HLR. Thank you very much. This is KAG5AHJ. So this is only running, I believe it's the 8 watt version of the um, 82. And um, I'm still able to hit the repeater, which is a good seven miles away. Plus, it gets that rubber duck antenna off the radio and the antenna onto the car, which has a gr better ground plane, and you're not hampered trying to transmit within your car. So that's it. Thank you, and we're going to be going to the office now. All right. This is the final part. I'm just gonna show you the uses of these two antennas that I have for the Raspberry Pi build that I did back on a couple of videos ago. This is using a Pi Star software with an MMDVM. I can say that now. Um, Pi Hat. So let's give it a shot. This is KG5AHJ on North Texas statewide. We did see the, um, everything get activated in the windows correctly. So um, it is working, just no one's coming back. Let's give it one more shot. This is Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet. Uh, can I get a radio check? Thank you very much, nothing heard. This is KG5AHJ and I'll be clear. And that's it. So let's get back to the computer. Hopefully I was able to show you that you don't need a fancy antenna to get on the air for your first setup. For six months to a year, I ran that um, Magmail and Baofeng radio in the car and I slowly upgraded over time with a battery pack that plugged into the car and also the uh, handheld um, hand mic. Next, on the uh, temporary setup, using the same mag mount antenna on the chimney cap and the radio on my deck, I do set that up on occasion. Uh, normally, the mag mount antenna is on the chimney cap, and I just uh, have a weather cap over the cable end so it doesn't get any moisture in it. Um, the long-term plans is to run that cable through the roof and down the wall and cut a hole in the wall and have that radio set up probably behind me over to my left. Um, also, I, uh, one day I want to replace that magma antenna with the J-pole antenna that's leaning against the uh, bookcase there. I didn't show that today because it's not actually in use, but it is a 2 meter 440 J-pole antenna. I hope you enjoyed my unique take on the antenna theme tonight. Um, I really enjoyed showing you my first radio setup, especially in the car. That was very fun to put all back together again. Um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and um, I'll see you next time, 7-3. What's up, man?